In this video I want to talk about React 19 and what we will see next in React. Here I opened the official blog post on the React blog and as you can see the latest post was done on February 15, 2024. And actually we did not get any updates in React for almost a year, which is quite a long time for such a popular framework. So React 19 is not released yet and we don't really know for sure when it will be released. But here are all things that we will probably get inside. Most important part is React Compiler. What it is going about. This is a solution inside React which allows it to understand our code better and make less re-rendering. Just to remind you, inside React we are doing lots of re-rendering every single time when something changes, like for example a state. But we must use tricks, like for example use callback or use memo to optimize our components and make less renderings, because not of them are needed. The main idea of React Compiler is that it can understand our code better and avoid these unnecessary renderings, which essentially means probably in the future we don't really need to write use memo or use callback like we are doing now. But most important part to remember, even when we get React Compiler, we don't really need to change anything, the whole API stays the same, but it just works better. But in order to let React Compiler optimize your code, it must be written in the best way. How to do that? You must follow some guidelines of React, and the easiest way to do that is to enable strict mode and also to enable React ESLint plugin. In this case you will get warnings when you are writing code and you are doing something wrong. But even if you don't, it doesn't really mean that your project will be completely broken, React compilers simply won't optimize that specific place. But exactly the same like with useEffect, it makes a lot of sense to install ESLint plugin and look on the warning that React is giving you. And as you can see here, it is written that React compiler is not a better solution, it is already being used on Instagram on production, which essentially means we are getting the huge application on production where this feature is already working. Another important feature that we are getting is called actions. And actions or server actions is something that we already have inside Next.js because it is using experimental React underneath. And essentially this feature inside Next.js is already stable. The main idea is that this is the possibility to send some data securely from our client to the server and make some database requests. I'm sorry for interruption, but I just wanted to let you know that only 20% of the people who watch my videos are subscribed to the channel. If you really want to continue getting videos and support my channel, consider subscribing, it helps a lot. Now let's jump back into the video. And it goes together with such hooks like useFormStatus and useFormState that you might know from Next.js tutorials. And additionally to that we are getting useOptimistic hook. It's a hook to implement optimistic updates for your code, which essentially means you are showing the user the result of your request before you are doing this request. Now we typically are doing optimistic updates manually, but with this hook it will be much easier as it will do that for us. And all these features are implemented inside React Canary, which actually means these are special versions of React that they are using for developing new features and they are still not merged in the official React branch. Additionally to that, we will get React server components, I already made a video about that, where we have things like use client or use server in order to create components, where we have directives, use client and use server in order to create our components either for the server side or for the client side. And actually server React components are already available by default inside Next.js if you want to test them out. And additionally to that, if you ever wanted to change your title or meta information, you probably used a package which is called React Helmet. Now we will get all this stuff out of the box inside React without additional library. So these are features that will be available for us soon, but if you for some reason need optimistic updates right now, I already covered how to implement them manually in this video.